is that dog food? <laughs> <laughs> so there are tricks to it to make it look better. And I, I, the food has integrity, and it deserves the best chance that you can give it. This is, okay? It shouldn't, don't, you know, some shit's ugly, don't do it. <laughs> so like diamonds, it takes money to get good quality. <laughs> or sleep all with the right person. <laughs> <laughs> That's not right, is it? Yeah. <laughs> I've never slept with the right person in my whole damn career. Now, oh, Jesus, I tried. So one of the things that I always see, and for those of you who don't know who Aaron Spelling is, that's Tori's father. <laughs> you little bitches. Yeah. Well, Yellow listen green. to this one. I worked with one who literally said, oh, I need to take my heart pills. And I thought, but you don't have a heart. <laughs> so what pill would you take for that? Oh, you mean you grow a heart by taking the pill? She has not yet had her own TV show. Maybe that's kind of <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that's what we've watched. But we have both made more pilots than there's programming on TV. <laughs> and unfortunately in the business we're getting a little long in the tooth. <laughs> to want perfection because I worked in kitchens and I was a chef. Most chefs are perfectionists. If you don't want to be a perfectionist, how are you going to make gorgeous food and feed hundreds of people? But I learned I could not be a perfectionist because it was intruding on my life. I would get so stressed out. There was this vein that came down my neck. And then, because I think the vein was here, the slip went down, and then the drool, I could never feel it. And I'd say to people, am I drooling? And they'd say yes, and I'd say, oh, and then I realized that wasn't good for me. Everyone I've ever known in my life said she will never reach her potential. <laughs> Things I like it. I would like some more candy. I need another pastry. And then I say to myself, now I think they didn't know what my potential was. How yeah. the fuck could they have said that about me? Uh, yeah. That we're supposed to be modest or you shouldn't accept compliments, but we need them. And if you're doing a good job, you should accept the compliment. For years, it was hard for me to accept it when people just said, you're funny, Denise. I would say, oh, I'm not really funny. Do you know what I mean? And then one night, Ariana Huffington had been, it was so funny. I'm sitting at a table. She doesn't say a word. She's the queen. We're at this thing. She's obviously the queen. And something happened. I was telling this story, and then she said, what are you saying? And it was some story that was totally inappropriate about something. <laughs> totally inappropriate. And of course, I was just, I, I hope I hadn't been drinking. And, but she turned to me. Chances are. Chances are. And I said something, and we were in this group of people, large group of people, and she turned around and she said, you must blog for me. <laughs> you must blog for me with that accent. She's so good. And she suddenly goes, and she went just like this, you're very funny. And then she, <laughs> do you know what I mean? So I got that laughing. No, yeah, you're no, she wasn't funny. laughing, but you're very funny. And then she moved on and I thought, did you know who it was at the time? Oh, yes. Like, but I thought, our funny Huffington thinks I'm funny. And at that moment, all of a sudden, I thought, you know I am funny. <laughs> I say to myself, Denise, you did the best job you could. You'll try again. The best feature you have is perseverance. One of the biggest lighting directors in this town, it's my favorite line I ever said about me. He said, I've seen that poor kid on the ropes. I've seen her bloody, battered, and beaten. But God damn it, she got off the, she went back in for a fight. I don't know that I've reached my potential because I keep trying to do new things.